Hello and welcome. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to effectively showcase your products, automate responses to FAQs, and save a ton of time. Let's get started. Here's how it works. You create any keywords, for example, automation, chatbot, or ads. When your followers send a message with any of these FAQ keywords, it triggers an automation and sends a welcome message with your product gallery and buttons that lead to your website. Let's quickly set up this campaign. Here's your template, which is pre-built content that you can easily edit. The first step in your automation is the trigger. So, when a user sends a message containing a specific word, a reply message will be sent. Let's click on the trigger and check its settings. Here you can set up automated replies to specific words or reactions that your followers send you via direct message. There are six different options you can use for a keyword trigger. Messages is very strict option. Only an exact match of the keyword will trigger the automated message. Additional words, letters, or symbols will not activate the reply. Message contains option is more flexible. It allows the bot to recognize the keyword within a sentence. For example, if the keyword is set to hello and a contact message is hello, please send me further info, the automated message will be triggered. Message contains whole word, this option lets you stay in the same context with the follower. If the keyword like is created within this option and a contact message is dislike, the reply message will not be triggered. Message begins with is a clever way to automate common questions. The keyword must be placed at the beginning of the follower's message for the automated message to be triggered. For example, if somebody types can you at the start of a sentence, an automatic reply will be sent. Message doesn't contain, this option allows you to exclude messages with specific keywords. The automated reply will not be triggered if a message contains any of these excluded keywords. In ManyChat, you can create keywords with multiple conditions. For instance, if you want to trigger a reply message not only by using specific keywords, but also when a sentence starts with, can you, you can easily add this condition. After configuring keywords, don't forget to save the trigger settings. Now, let's take a look at the reply message that customers will receive when they trigger an automation. Here's the important part. Instagram has a rule that automated messages cannot be sent beyond 24 hours after your followers last interaction. This rule helps keep things spam-free and protects users. But here comes the fun part. You have the ability to personalize your communication. You can change the URL link in the button or send the next message instead of opening the website, all easily done in the button settings. To take your automation to the next level, you can add various content blocks. Just click on a block and include elements like images or time delays. However, we recommend being careful and avoiding overloading message blocks to prevent overwhelming the follower. At the bottom of the reply message block, you'll see the next step connected to the message. This means that the second message will be sent after the first one. You can also click on it on the Flow Builder canvas for easier access. If you decide to remove it, just click on the trash icon that appears when you hover over the message. Once you're finished creating your automation, it's time to give it a try and see how your followers will experience it. Simply click Preview to see how the automation looks for your followers. You can also preview it directly on Instagram by following some easy instructions. If you feel ready to launch, you can skip the Preview step, but it's always a good idea to test it beforehand. To make your automation live, just click the Set Live button. Once live, the automation will be triggered when your followers activate it with their actions, and the content will be published. Let's see how it works with an example. One of your followers asks a question about Instagram ads. When they send their question, the automation is triggered by the keyword ads, and they'll receive a reply message. If you want to pause an automation, simply turn off the trigger. To see how users engage with your communication, visit the Automation tab. Here, you'll find details such as the reply rate and the number of runs, which indicates how people interacted with your communication. That's all about keyword automation. Give it a try to increase website traffic and provide relevant product information. By guiding your followers to the products and answers they're seeking through automation, you can save time and drive more sales. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more video tutorials.